And if you get schedule compressed, that ever happen? <laughs> Deadlines, you know, we need to ship by this date. Yeah, but we started testing X number of days late, right? If you get schedule compressed, rather than just, well, we'll throw overtime at the problem, to <laughs> try to keep up, be a little more smart about this, you can say, if we have to triage our tests, if we have to drop tests, we are going to do it in reverse risk order. All right? Because we've got our tests. Our tests inherited the risk priority number of the risk item that they came from. So we can always go through and cut out the less important tests in order to try to preserve dates, right? See, all too often, I think we, we put ourselves in a box here. You know, people come to us and say, well, we really got to try to hit that deadline. Well, we're not going to be done testing. Well, what, are, what won't you have tested? Well, with this list of tests, well, what does that mean? All right, and then at that point, the conversation breaks down because you can't expect people to get into the weeds of individual test cases, right? But if you can say, well, the, these tests, they have this level of risk and they relate back to these risk items, people can say, yeah, okay, I'm comfortable. I'll accept the risk of going live without testing that, okay? So again, more transparency, more uh, a more uh, effective way to communicate throughout the project about what we are testing, why we are testing it, the order in which we are testing it, and what it means. Okay, and that's really what we're what we're offering here.